Okay, so um, let's talk about a reaction like uh, this one here, okay. where we've got, um, well, clearly, is this an exothermic or endothermic reaction? Exothermic. Why do you know that? Because the products are at a lower height than the reactants, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and draw the reaction coordinate. Okay. So we'll call this reaction progress or something like that. And we'll use this to be like, well, we'll just say overall energy. Okay. And remember, G is Gibbs free energy, so that's the energy of the whole system. Okay, here we have the reactants here. <coughs> what are the reactants? In this case, it's O3 plus O. And then we've got the products down here. 2O2. Okay, so remember reactions can be, they're like camels, you know, so the one humps, that's like a Mike Tyson reaction, just walk up and knock the guy out, okay? So this is one of those one hump reactions, right? So one step, we call those reactions, that's the step, okay? So remember here to here, if we're talking about G, Right, is going to be what? Delta G. Right, because that's the difference between the reactants and the products. In this case, delta G is going to be positive or negative? Negative. Right? Why? Because the reactants have more internal energy than the products do. So, they need that en the excess energy needs to be released, and that's being released in this case as heat, is what it's saying up there. Okay? So up here, we've got what's called the transition state, okay, TS, or activated complex, some people will call it. And, um, I guess it's drawn up there. You can kind of see it. I don't know, something like that. Okay. You can see this is not really a molecule. It's not really an anything. Okay. Sorry. Oh, it has another oxygen. It has another oxygen. Okay. Sorry. About that. So,
this was a two hump, there would be an intermediate. And we'll talk about those in a second. Okay. Any questions on that one?